So today we will learn C implementation of Lagrange's interpolation formula. Before learning this video, please learn previous part of this video where we already discuss one mathematical problem on Lagrange's interpolation formula. And today we will learn the C implementation of this formula. In our previous video, we already discussed about Lagrange's interpolation formula. So this is Lagrange interpolation formula and we already solved this math. So the mathematical problem was from the following table of values of x and fx calculate the value of f3. And this is the formula for Lagrange's interpolation method. First I have to calculate L0x, then L1x, then L2x and then L3x. We already discussed this math in our previous video. Please consult our previous video. After calculation of L0, L1 and L2 and L3x, now we have to apply Lagrange's interpolation formula. So what is F3? F3 equals to L0x that is minus 1 by 6 into 2 plus L1x that is 2 by 3 into 9 plus L2x that is 2 by 3 into 65 plus L3x that is minus 1 by 6 into 126. So after calculation, we get the value. Now see the coding. So this is the coding for Lagrange's interpolation formula. Now see, there are two float arrays. One is x, another is y for storing x values and y values. First take number of arguments. In our example, how many number of arguments are there? Four. So n value is four. Now we have to take the values for x array and also for y array. So I execute one for loop. This loop will execute four times and I take all values of x that is 1, 2, 4, 5 and this loop will execute 4 times and I take all values of y that is 2, 9, 65 and 126. Now take value of x where the functional value is to be determined. It is a. a means what? Here a is 3. We have to calculate the value of f3. So what is the value of a? It is 3. Now for this nested for loop, see the explanation. So this loop will execute how many times? For i equals to 0, i less than n i plus plus. So this loop will execute 3 times. i equals to 0, 1, 2, 3. v equals to y i. So first time v is y 0, then y 1, then y 2 and then y 3. Now what is this loop? This loop is for j equals to 0, j less than n j plus plus. So j values are when i equals to 0, j values are 0, 1, 2, 3. When i equals to 1, j values are 0, 1, 2, 3. When i equals to 2, j values are 0, 1, 2, 3. And when i equals to 3, j values are 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, if j not equals to i. So, first time, if j not equals to i means j values are i is 0. So, j values are not equals to i. So, j values are 1, 2 and 3. Here, j values are 0, 2, 3. Here j values are 0, 1, 3 because i is 2. Here j values are 0, 1, 2 because i is 3. Next line. V equals to V into A minus xj divided by xi minus xj. So first time it is V into V. What is the value of V? It is y0 into A minus xj. A minus xj means what? xj is first time it is 1. So A minus x1 divided by xi. What is xi? xi is i is 0. So x0 minus xj. xj means x1. Next time j value is 2. So it is a minus x2 divided by x0 minus x2. Next time j value is 3. So it is a minus x3 divided by x0 minus x3. Next time v equals to v v means here it is y1 y1 into a minus what is xj first time j value is 0 so a minus x0 divided by xi minus xj xi means here i is 1 so x1 minus x0 into a minus next j value is 2 so a minus x2 divided by x1 minus x2 and next time it is a minus x3 divided by x1 minus x3 so in this way we can generate this formula, Lagrange's interpolation formula. See, now one task is still remaining that is we have to add each term. See, 
in between l0 x l1 x there is plus okay so we have to add this term okay how we can add we can add in this way val equals to val plus v we can initialize val as 0 so by writing val equals to val plus v we can add each term and we get the result after printing val we get the result now it's time to run our program so enter the number of arguments in our example it is 1 2 3 4 so 4 arguments are there x values enter the values of x it is 1 2 4 and 5 enter the values of fx it is 2 9 65 and 126 value of x where the functional value is to be determined it is we have to calculate the value of f3 so it is 3 so the result is 28 so this is your programming assignment write a c program to implement lagrange's interpolation formula if you are facing any problem comment me in the comment section then i will definitely help you for getting more and more updates please please like share and subscribe my channel that's all for today thank you